case. Now we have a quick look at Iskal's Omega Tree. Now this hasn't changed uh, an awful lot over the last few months, so I'm not sure there's an awful lot to say, but it is enormous. Trees are very difficult to make, and I think it shows. It definitely shows. And remember, wood is logs are one of the, the most grindy things to get in the game. Real. This is an absolutely phenomenal build. And I'm not gonna be ranking everyone's builds because, oh my goodness, I haven't seen anyone butchered that. Look at this. So this is the big drill that goes to the nether. And he has told this story with all of the nether stuff coming out of the, the big hole. It's ours. Really, really cool. I, I love that attention to detail. And that moves us quite swiftly over to Mumbo's base. Now, Mumbo's base is strange. He went in a completely different direction to what I was expecting at the start of the season. So it started with the giant circle of spanners that made it made it look like a giant summoning circle. And then he went in a totally different direction. Like he has the same kind of build here with this structure, but then it's really overgrown and stuff. And it was, it was odd. And then I was like, oh, okay, that's strange. And then he built a heart there. And I was like, okay, that's really strange. So I've got to commend Mumbo on how unique this base is because it is really strange. And he's also seems to have some kind of secret thing here. Oh, he's there. <laughs> See if he notices the carrot <laughs> dropping down. I think I've stumbled on a secret of some kind. Oh, he's noticed, he's noticed. <laughs> away, go away. <laughs> okay, so that's Mumbo. To appreciate this, what an excellent build. It's not even a base, this is a world. Look at the landscape. If you just took that screenshot, you'd think that this this city went on for, for, for miles. It, it doesn't look like it ends. Look at all the details, the trees, and this is this is what my build is lacking for sure. And I think this world tour will really help me come to grips with what is wrong with my base and how I can improve it. So there's a huge amount of diversity in Coralis's build, and I think it's worth saying that although Coralis is a fantastic builder and he has done all of the block placing, he's had a lot of help from his community as well. So a huge shout out to the world of Coralis as well. They all sort of came together. And there's my half a mansion. This is the only thing that survived season six. My mansion got rebuilt on episode one, and hello, Coralis is here. So I'm getting a nice, I'm getting a nice tour. And look at that. Look, this is what I mean. I would build this tower, right? But I would never bother decorating each and every floor with stuff. Look, no one's ever going to see this. No one's ever going to go inside here. And look, it might, it might be the same repeated pattern, but that doesn't matter. That's not even the same repeated pattern. He's got a restaurant at the top. I can't cope with this. You know what? We're going to go and have a look in here. Uh oh, Ooh, no, oh, no, <laughs> no elevator yet. But look, just it's it's good to appreciate this. He's built a hotel on Hermitcraft, where no one needs a hotel, and there's a restaurant at the top, and it looks great. The amount of creativity on this server astounds me. And there's a shop at the bottom. Wow. Well, we can't spend too long on just one base. World? Is that graffiti? I think that's graffiti. Oh man, look at this. Look at this. Look at the, this sort of New York style graffiti up the walls. This is amazing. I'm very excited to see where this base... Oh, there is someone occupying the hotel. <laughs> So, we can't stay too long at one base, but hopefully this gives you an idea of what Coralis is working on in the background. Check it out. Absolutely fantastic. I think that's going to make the top 10 somewhere. So, since we're here, you can see that Coralis's base has merged firmly into X's base. And I'm not sure if that, that's like an, it's like an X Coralis bumblebee. 
on the server, Etho's base. Now we've already gone and seen Etho's base and I've talked to Etho many times about how his base is just absolutely fantastic. And the reason it's fantastic is because I've never seen anyone, and I mean this, anyone build the inside before the outside. But also, while you're inside, you feel like you're outside. How is this inside outside masterpiece even working? We've, we have seen and toured this base before, but Etho has amalgamated function and form with kookiness. I can't believe what I'm seeing half the time in here, but it's absolutely phenomenal. So it might not be the biggest of bases, but it is compact, unique, and dare I say it, Etho. And it's always good to see what it looks like when they're like midway through a project. Any guesses as to what this is? I have no idea. So there's... Is ZF space. And ZF is someone that we don't often see on the server. Now how on earth do I... Oh, I can't open this without a bow and arrow. ZF is someone we don't see very often, but he's working away in the background. He's been doing his thing. I think we're going to have to break in because <laughs> I don't know how to get into this base. There we go. So I'm not entirely sure what this green dome is about. Or this? Is it... I don't know. It looks like a mouth. It looks like a... A monster of some kind, but I know that his base is under here. How do I get in? Oh my goodness. He's built an entire underground. Did you see that move? What on earth? He's built an underground aquarium. I'm not sure what this is in the middle here. I'm I'm too scared to break in. We need to break in a safe space. That show, this kind of shows just how little I know about my fellow hermit's base when I can't even figure out how to get in. So this looks like the inside of his base. Aha, okay, so here's his storage system. Whoa, it goes deep. Oh my goodness. And he's been doing a lot of redstone and stuff. He's got uh, a honey, oh, a honey elevator. And he's got his bees. I mean, this is a pretty cool base. here now this base frustrates me because there's no door to steal now uh, when i remember when i had to go and steal everyone's doors i <laughs> i took the water wow this looks incredibly complicated i really like impulse's base it is a lot bigger than it looks on the outside and we're actually right by the shopping district we might we might come back to the shopping district last just because it's a very seen area but look it doesn't look that huge from the outside but trust me this this base is mega there is a lot of space in here actually the whole mega concept we can come back to like tango's toon town now this is probably going to make the top 10 somewhere along the way he has captured the essence of cartoons so well here. It's absolutely, I love it. I absolutely love this build. So it's not, you know, it's not like the most technical marvel in the world in terms of like building things, but look at it. It's It's got some fantastic shapes that are very, very, why is everyone logging in? As soon as I start looking at the base, they log in. Look at the shape that he managed to get all of these builds to be in. It's very hard to execute that and also maintain such a unique theme. This, again, goes back to everyone has made such a unique stamp on this world. And I know that this particular build holds a special place in a lot of people's hearts. And not only that, so here's one of the other things. Like, it looks great. It looks like, it looks like a cartoon haven, right? But it's also chock full of wacky and wonderful Minecraft farms. Look at that. The golem pops up out of there and he's killed by ravagers. He could have killed this in any other way, but he didn't. It's a slime farm that comes out of a giant, what is this? Ca caterpillar shooter? I think like it shoots out the, the slimes on here and then it collects it with the, I mean, it it's amazing. It's false symmetry's base. And I think we need to take a second to appreciate, well, all of these cats. Hello. Why are there so many cats here? Let's take a moment to appreciate first the build, 
because the build is enormous. Now this, again, this comes back to, is this mega? Ooh. Yeah, I'd, I'd say this is mega, but only just mega. Uh, yeah, this is, this is pretty mega. If this had gone taller, it would have been absolutely mega. But let's just appreciate how much has been dug out. Because we all know what mining off camera is. A bit of a meme. But check it out. This area to excavate for your base is absolutely insane. All of it is gone. What false has done with all of those blocks? Who knows? There must be a huge storage facility that I don't know the location of. Oh, look at this. Okay, now this is a really cool detail that false has done. The boat is going up the water stream. I really like that. Stuff like that's really fun. But it looks like she st sort of started a company called False LTD. So I wonder what she's going to do with that. Let's take a look. At False is another one. Couldn't steal the door properly because there's just water here. I think so looking at the, the base overall, it's absolutely beautiful. It's a, it's a, it's a bit of a futuristic build and it looks like they're going to space and there's like this hexagonal thing. False is a, an extremely talented builder and conceptualizer and I, I've got to commend her on this build because it is, yeah, it is mega. It is, it is pretty good. False always does amazing work every season and this season she has absolutely delivered. So well done False, that, that is a really cool base. This is, this is something. This is an explosion on the eyes. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, we've kind of jumped ahead of ourselves and we're on the inside of Cub Space. Let's see if we can get on the outside. So, we were talking about the definition of Mega earlier. Well, if you ever needed clarification, this is Mega. The sheer scale of this pyramid is enormous. And this also, I mean, look at it. It's its absolutely massive. And this, oh, look how many gold blocks that is. So if you ever needed proof about how it's nothing to do with detail, it's just all about size, it's this. You might be familiar with B-Dubs' base. He is one of the most talented builders on the server next to, next to Scar. But what he's done this season, and I've got to admit, I've got to eat my words. Are you ready? I'm going to eat them. Okay, so I was not totally on board with what B-Dubs was doing at the start. Like, he, he sort of built these one or two houses, and I was thinking, B-Dubs, that ain't mega. <laughs> he asked me one day, he was like, yeah, is my base mega? And I was like, no, because the scale, like, mega builds typically are one big build. So although this area is all landscaped absolutely beautifully, intricately, lovingly even, it's not mega. It's just, it's just unfortunately not mega. It's amazing and it's brilliant and it's perfect and it's so much better than my base, but it's not mega. However, I ate my words because he worked on this, this giant cliff. And I was like, really? You spent all that time on a backdrop to your base? That seems insane. And then he built this. And I was like, okay, okay, B-dubs. This is mega. This this whole thing is mega. Look at that. You can stand on on the the roof of one of these houses and you get this absolute beauty of a backdrop. The background like no one, no one has built a background to their base. This has my utmost respect and it is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. And he's using and mixing blocks which I wouldn't have thought of using, especially like this lighter teal colored blue. So I think we need to take a, a, just a second to stop and appreciate the level of detail, how nice the palette is of this build and what this means. Like it's just insane. And you know what, we're gonna break in. We're gonna break in a little bit because on the inside is a whole, this is the world before B-dubs. This is this is like a movie where you dig underground and you discover dinosaurs. No, this is this is the world before B dubs happened. And it's still here, intact, just lit up. And this shows how much was custom terraforming. Bigger than Cub's pyramid. This this is mega.
Oh my goodness. There's a thro there's a diorite throne. Forget the diamond throne, everyone. And <laughs> of course, of course there's a bed. Oh man. B-dubs, I take my hat off to you.